Hello and welcome back to Pillars and perhaps pillaging and looting and killing some guys and taking all that stuff. But maybe we're gonna get out, uh, well, kill a Sila Waveskeeper. That is actually a mission we have to do. And uh, this guy, uh, Estulario Partito, is not quite uh, on our level. Wow, he wants to attack me? Principi San Patrena. Alright. <laughs> Actually, it's possible that unaffiliated. Okay. Seems like it's 6 and I'm 10. Oh, is that my level? That could be my level, right? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Uh, we're gonna close board. Yeah. I think that could be my level. But despite the scaling, these these fights are always easier, I suppose. So is that my level? Wow, what the hell? Stay light on your feet, don't let those bastards get close. So what we have here, level 10. Uh, that seems to indicate my level. All right, let's kill him. These guys are hopeless compared to the previous ones. They were impossible to hit. These guys uh, basically got one shot. Damn, poor guys. And this this is with difficulty scaled up apparently. Wait, what? He's still here. He's dead. That's all we got. Crew, you want part of that? Just kidding. Obviously, it's mine. I don't want them to get a taste of it. Just so they, like, start asking for it. Like, come on. That's just crazy. That fire merchant? Is it unaffiliated? Yeah, unaffiliated. So if we attack it, apparently we are... Well... Not pissing off at anybody, I guess. Is this ship going for me? No. Hey, merchant. Welcome, welcome. You wanna die? Attack. We can't attack it. Did we already decide that we are not gonna attack this guy because apparently the option was already grayed out? It doesn't work. We can't attack this guy for some reason. <laughs> Lower morale working with injury. Well, not the best. What are the other merchant? Can we attack that? We can't attack that guy for some reason. Uh, yeah, he's level 5. Close to board, give no quarter. Rest in peace. Yeah, it's probably not the best way to go about it. But it is a pretty fast way to go about it. Maybe I can uh, have a ship. Uh, that makes this uh, style of play more acceptable. Still got it. Okay, sailor. Who's left? Oh, that sailor guy. Rest in peace, sailor. Damn. Without difficulty upscaling, I don't know how easy these fights would be. Even like this, they are ridiculously easy. Wait a second. What's up with the Defiant? Why is it so fancy? Hmm. So... 
Fancy Lizard Island. Wonder who named it that. So we can go to Fort Delight. Deadlight, actually. It's been on our to-do list for a long time now. And we're only getting uh, to it. It's fine. <clears> Through <throat> the distant haze of sea, mist and rocky shadows, Fort Deadlight rises over the horizon. Approaching a pirate stronghold is a risky venture even for the most skilled of mariners. Any ship not flying a principi flag that is sighted in Deadlight's shallows may be raided. Abaddon's iron scroat, cap, uh, them guns may be even bigger than I remember. Seraphon uh, looks up at the fortress from the deck and inhales through his teeth. I can be vouchsaving vouch saving you with uh, the guards if you can be getting us to dock without being blasting to bits thrice open, thrice over. Otherwise, I'll be recommending the sneakiest approach you got. Uh, hoist up a principi flag and dock at deadlight port. Yeah. Use principi flag. With a principi flag, Flapping wildly from your mast, you smoothly sail into port and uh, moor up at the dock. The docks are crawling with sailors of all ages and races, many of them wearing mismatched battle-torn outfits, guns strapped to their tights and chests. They load and unload cargo holds, arms brawny, grinning faces. <clears throat> Some blistered as they laugh and curse and shout and hack flagum onto the splintered boards of the dock. From the bustle, principi guards emerge to hail your arrival. Satisfied with appearances, they nod you on, and you make your way up to the fort's main gate. Really? I managed to uh, blend in? I guess they didn't, uh... Well, I'm not really leaving a lot of survivors uh, when I'm killing the pirates, so that's probably it. Very thoughtful of me. We kill all the pirates, like... That's what we need to do here. We come into this pirate stronghold, kill everybody, and now we'll be the wiser. to blow our cover snake eyes con when how might i help you out of a bit of money squab care to join our fun or is it swilling information you're chasing the pirate looks you over eyeing the make of you a sly smile curls at his uh, mouth as he tosses a pair of uh, dice to rattle over the cobblestone ground Without so much as a glance at the settling dice, he calls out their numbers. I'm looking for Captain Benvet. I ain't my captain's keeper, and I know better than to ask what business you've got with Brutal Ben. He jerks his head, once to the right. You might check the court for him. If he ain't target practicing, he's tickling the harpsichord or taking his swill. Two out of the three can be done there. But if you see him, don't fucking tell him I sent you. Farewell. What the hell is that? From the upper ramparts, a wooden crane suspends a, a pallet stacked with heavy black casks over the cobblestone courtyard. The pallet groans, swaying slightly, while its hempen rope uh, creaks from the strain. I don't care about making a mess here. Why should I? Sure. Maybe we don't want to destroy the barrels. Can't say I recognize your fishy mug, which means you ought not to be up here. Back away with your hands up, no need to be rude. That's definitely not gonna work. 
Like you're so hot. Her busted, blooded lips split a cocksure grin. With a bruised knuckled hand, she blows you a kiss. Gilma thought me plenty spicy last night. Oh, that's that. Is that so? You get into a fight recently? I had a spot of trouble at the forge. It's sorted now, though. Her eyes brighten as she rasps a uh, rough laugh. Don't be worrying about my kisser. Enough prattling. For now, only Benwith's personal crewmates are permitted into Deadlight's Heights. You ain't one, so swim off. Hey, no need to be rude. It's not that I don't trust you. But seeing as I don't trust you half so far as I can throw you, I'll be escorting you down. Wow. <sighs> right wonder they ain't strung you up, Cap. Best not be pressing your fortune. What'll it be, Swabby? Show me what you got. Right away. This guy knows. This guy knows. He's giving me a bad discount. How do you know? It's a pretty uh, lackluster selection, mate. <gasps> Damn, the guy knew. It was their first hanging. I had the rope too long, so we cut the tosser's head right off. Huh. So we can go there. Ain't even possible that. It is. Ahoy, uh, Captain. I've got to come clean about something. And that'll be as good a time as not. Now's a good time, really? What is it? Much as I hate Benwith, the main reason I signed up with you were uh, to get here. To get a chance to look for a man named Romaro. Not Rex? <laughs> Nay, Captain, but I like where your head be. T okay. Now, that'd be a longer story than we've got time for. Quick of it be that uh, Romaro's in trouble. The Prince should be have sent a ship hunter after him. And I've got a need and a half to find him first. I didn't see his ship, so probably not. But mayhaps we could keep a weather eye open for clues to his whereabouts. Alright. Let's keep a look out for the clues. Romaro. Skadevin? What's up with you? Think this'll break me? Ha! It won't. Spit on me, and I'll make you regret it. One day, surely. Spit in her face? No! Why are you being punished? Those hagfish. Ben West's crew lashed me up to be, and I quote, a deterrent to insubordination. It's shark shit. All I did was filch one of their horns and blast it to start lung with. I wanted to see her get all worked up. Okay. Well, no one likes a prankster. Ben West's crew uses horn blasts for an alarm? Well, sure. But shouldn't you know this, on account of you being a captain? Of course I'm a pirate, uh, matey. My fist will be captain of your face if you question me again. With a scowl, she twists against the ropes, then she gives up, sagging. Cut you loose? No. Not that I ain't grateful, but if Ben's crew spots me about, they'll be taking more than my pride next. Cut the ropes, don't get caught again. Suppose I'll do my best. She flicks you a sly smile in parting. No, I'm gonna cut your ropes and you can stand here if you want to. Been slower than two slugs swiving since Aldi's put the lid on it. Winds will be changing soon. Benwith can't resist throwing another bash for long. Hmm. Now he groans too weak to lift his head. Can we cut his ropes as well? Come, we've plenty to share. Do you, Ruddy Fair? Oh, there, watch your step. The stones are a mite slippery. The pirate stumbles when he turns, slapping a palm onto the table to steady himself. In the process, he knocks a tanker to the ground. Spilling a frothy beverage. Here's to ourselves. May the gods grant us more gold and luck than we can imagine. Aye. He raises his mug high overhead. It's a celebratory drink. You bet. Our bosun just brought a treasure map. 
We're saluting to our future prosperity, we are. Great. We'd be making a proper raucous if Ung with the Craghearted wasn't such an accursed downer. Who? One of Benwith's guards, right up them stairs. She's like a boil I can't get off, no matter how often I lance it. Wait a minute. You mean to say you don't know Benny's crew? I'm sure I'd recognize her if I saw her face. He tries to he tries to tap a finger to his chin instead of stumbles and nearly falls. I think you ought to meet the crag hearted. Explain to her who exactly you are. Ungwif, get down here. Swiftly now. Oh boy. Is someone coming? Forge ain't far from here, right up them stairs. Got a particular smell it does. Why in the blackest hell are you clomping around so loud? How be it? You're not allowed up here, you no good fuddlers. You got a problem with drunks? Just got no patience for them, the bilge lickers. It's rot enough I'm posted next to the forge. Having to listen to that hammer striking non-stop all day long. Add on those howling guzzlers at the bottom of the stairs and you get the picture. Enough gabbling. The ramparts are off limits to anyone but Ben West's crew. Run off or I'll run you through. I don't need to get testy. No, I'd best escort you back. Follow me if you want to keep living. Try to sneak past if you want to die. Really? A lot of sneaking ground. To court, to command. Maybe we can get some information before we start the bloodbath. If we start the bloodbath. We probably will start the bloodbath. <laughs> to the dungeons. Hmm. Looks like there are only pirates here. Like, if there is ever a time to wipe them out, this is now. The lost power to be north of here. The brig be to the south. So... I don't be supposing we keep easy breezy, wet ten. If it's locked tight, it must lead deeper into the fort. Fine stiletto. Not a lot of good stuff here. What is this? It leads up to the forge. If we do that, we're probably gonna get attacked. Uh, we can pull that lever from this side. Holds it right there, love some. If you ain't one of Ben my own, you can't be back here. Uh, what Benven doesn't know won't hurt him, but it will get you killed. Bloody pox piss, you mutinous lads. Get bolder and bolder, don't ya? She cracks her gun at you. Bit of lead in your belly ought to settle you right down. Let's go. Don't let him blow that horn. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, that wasn't oh, that bad. It's the honest me too. Gunpowder barrel. It's fine. We can kill these guys in the in the cellar. They will not know upstairs, I guess. So they didn't blow the horn. My fingers be fat and furry, swapped in spark. Uh oh. Why so unfriendly? Buccaneer. Ooh, 57 damage. Yeah, you're gonna die. It's just garbage. Fine, Archibus. 
pretty much pointless. Do I hear a mouse scratching, scratching? Hey! Cookie... Cookie Mana? Right. To underground docks? Wow, really? We have that? A poorly woman startles at your approach. As she downswings her meat cleaver, she nearly catches her fingers. Glovering, she more carefully resumes hacking at, when, uh, at what looks to be a slab of ribs. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Only Benwith's crew has access to my kitchens. Not that I care, really. Speak up so I can hear you. You don't care that I'm trespassing? Think I want to tattle on you? What do I care if you're looking to hang yourself? Sneak around enough where you ain't supposed to, Benwith will catch you. Carve you into chunks for my stew. She cracks her meat cleaver on the counter. I'm looking for Benwith. You won't find him in the kitchens ever. He's high and mighty, gold bricking in Captain Aldi's quarters now. Right. These stairs go back to the court. It's the tower adjacent to this one that leads to Aldi's quarters. She points out at the stairs in the back of the kitchen with a slice of her cleaver through the air. Oh, don't worry about it. We're gonna find Bandit. We're gonna kill Bandit. And we're taking everything here. All that stuff, I couldn't read it in time. We're gonna check this uh, area first. The oh, whole thing. Keep both hands afore you and back away. It's bloody oceans and Andres wet cities. You start raving mad, drawing arms in a sea of pirates. Good thing I saw him. After him. Kill her. Jailer. It's actually a good way to go about it. Taking them out one by one instead of getting caught. And dealing with everybody at the same time. Found the key. So, sure. who can we bust out? Some skeleton guy. Stealth boots. Why not? Hello, Swabby. Hey. You ain't one of Benny's. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? He gestures to the grimy straw and shits strewn the cell around him. You see, Brutal Ben's locked me and my mates down here to torment our noble Captain Lamont. They had what you might call a disagreement. The Captain's a good man to have at your back. Especially for anyone who's fallen into Benwith's sights. Seeing as you've let us out of the brig, I'd say we owe you. So you ought to speak with our Captain in the forge. It's up the stairs on the western end. Keep it quiet and follow me, mates. Who said you can go? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm on the murder spree. What did you find, Ishi? Sure. Leave it to me. I don't be supposing we could uh, easy breezy wet. More stuff, but 
It's low level stuff, it's no good. My fingers be fat and furry. Easy breeze. This area is close to anyone who ain't bloody. See you ah. You're dead. <laughs> Kill the pirate guard Sorry, if you can. <laughs> Did we manage to piss everybody off now? That could be... Unfortunate. Uh oh. Does that mean they're on to us? Damn. That's, that's a bummer. Rising like a tidal wave above the ocean, a white uh, stone wall stretches into the sky. Halfway between Deadlight's uh, battlements and, and the rocky cove, its base, an arch window opens into the salty air. Inspect the fortress wall. An upspray of seawater mists your over face. Strong winds beat against the fortress, howling through the battlements that stab into the sky. Inspect the wall? I don't wanna go down. So we can go up to the forge, uh, we can go up to the courtyard, we can go up to the court, and uh, to the underground docks. This place has a lot of locations. So we can go to the courtyard, and I might be a little bit bummed that we got caught. Not sure if I wanna go out of my way to not kill pirates. But they're kinda messing uh missing some conversation this way. It could be considered uh uh somewhat unrealistic as well. Because we are gonna kill them all. Scallywags hope. Some pirates are not gonna attack us. Pirate priest is dead now. Why not? Sure. There are even more guys over here. Hey guys. Yeah. When we kill shopkeepers, we don't get their stuff at all. I said the everyone, everyone is uh hostile to us. Okay. Can we open the door? Oi, oh, pirates. Buck in the ear. Damn it! How many pirates are here? There are more people here than in the city. I find it hard to believe that such a huge fort is sustainable just by stealing. You won't get us in there? Oh, 
I wonder what's <laughs> their level. Oh, we charmed the buck in here. Well, he's dead now. What? Hard guard. Step into the line. All of these uh are just generic NPCs. Leave it to me. Why not? Yeah, no one is here. The underground docks. Command the courts, the eastern ramparts. Yeah, this is where we got up. Apparently, this is where um, the main crew likes to spend their time. We don't know. You won't get us in here, so. Probably they are in the command. What are the underground dark? Before I go introducing you to Siri, I should uh, mention something. Go on. I might have said things to Siri when I last dropped anchor at Deadlight. Just lovers' words savvy. But uh, I can't say I rightly lived up to them. I ain't saying it's a problem, just a possible wrinkle in the old chart. Good to know. All I'm saying is, uh, you see a go for a pistol, you best step away from me. Well, Leave it to me. Let, I'm glad you told me. Production's too slow. At this rate, we'll never get out of here. Not till Eldies comes back. Hey, scamper off you. We ain't taking orders. Plus, if your armor's dented, you'd be better served throwing it against some rocks. <laughs> For the record, I have no idea what I'm doing. And who's set the damned alarms off this time? Alarms? What alarms? The horn blast competing with these hammer strikes to split my sodding skull in two. It's just some drone guy. Makes the third time this week someone's thought to mutiny. Why mutiny? Because Benwith gets people's blood boiling. He pushes them to do stupid things. I ought to know better than anyone else. Oh, is that so? I just... Why is this Benvit such a hot guy? Like, oh, look at me, I'm Benvit. I'm the hottest uh, guy around here. I'm gonna act like a jerk to everybody. I can't wait to kill him. That explains why I'm fumbling about this forge, but not why you're here. I'm out for Benvit's blood. Get in my way and I spill your stew. You must be more than a common mutineer if you've got the brains of the brawn to see to your revenge. In that case, I'll gladly step out of your path. Nice! Me and Brutal Ben had a bit of a disagreement. He tossed most of my crew into the brig. Myself and my first mate got the mercy of serving an extended stint in this forge. If you were one of us, you'd have heard that by now. Gossip flows like water through these parts. Tell me then, stranger, who are you? I'm Watcher, Captain of the Defiant. Blast my eyes and burn my fingers. His muscles taught him with alert and interest. I know you. Benwith attacked your ship right in the eye of a typhoon. He's been crowing about it enough since. And he's a dead man. Black Seas, but I hate Benwith. I f uh, by the way, I freed your crew from the dungeon. I know. They stopped by the forge. Then, what? Then why you pretended like you didn't know, uh, one minute ago? I'll show you the way into Aldi's quarters, where you're sure to find our brutal band. This way, they're on the highest floor of the fort. You gotta pull the lantern? Doors open. But there's something you ought to consider before you go. Sure, 
You could traipse right up there into Aldi's quarters to gut Ben with, but he'll be heavily guarded. Sounds more fun. Meanwhile, me and my crew will be stealing Ben's ship, the Drake. And in doing it, we're gonna bait him into storming outside all alone. That ship is mine. Let's discuss this another time? What the fuck? <laughs> what other time? It would be considerably easier to kill him if I caught him on his own. Stealing a pirate ship? You really want to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> no better way for it. By the way, that's my ship, so don't steal my ship. He laughs, choking on a sooty inhale. Benny docks the drake in a hidden berth beneath the fort. Kill the guards there for us. Aye, that's why I want your help. After you cleared the docks, take the western tower to the fort's ramparts and sound the boating bell. Three rings. Me and my mates will sail out with the drake. Three bell tolls alerts the fort to a ship leaving the private docks. With Aldi's gone to sea, that leaves just Ben's drake docked. Ben's sure to storm the ramparts in a rage. Right in time to watch his pride be stolen. Killing certain guards to avoid fighting other guards sounds inefficient. The ones on the dock will be sitting ducks for your blade. If that's not incentive enough, do it to piss Ben off before you end him. Sounds like I'm doing this to, for you to steal the ship. Gods know I'm dying to. I can't wait until Ben gets his. Bravo. <laughs> that's a really good plan you got there. Or Amino, that I help you steal the ship. I won that ship. Here's the one that saved our skins. Here's the one that saved our skins. I heard you the first time. Let's check out the balcony. <laughs> you pirate. You know, I can't blame you for suggesting that, but. And I suppose it can be considered a plan, but it is not what I want. If I help you guys get the chip, also, I might want to kill you guys too. Come on, you guys are pirates as well. I'm killing everybody. Oh, what is this? Or deadlight? Seriously, he doesn't know about me or what is Ben doing? Just hiding? Hey, Buccaneer. Some rogues. What the hell are you doing? Looks like she's healing. Let's go. Not anymore. <laughs> what? Why oh, was it so slow? Okay, let's loot. What are we missing here? Are they gonna attack me? Ruddy! How could you do this? To the forge, underground docks, the command. A lot of dead pirates. We know about the dungeons. You sure you don't wanna leave? Well, suit yourself. What? Some guys over here. That must hurt. Rest in peace, Buccaneer. 
Don't we charm the other one? Damn. Watch out! Behind you! What? Why is the attack not working? Those staffs! They hit like hell. That would be enough. What? Are we getting shot from the windows? Come, that's how it looks like. You won't get us in there? Oh, can we get into the court? Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be the slaughter. Hey, guys. Blind me. Protect Captain Ben with at any cost. Sounds very much unlike pirates. Why do people care so much about Bambit? Some pirates are actually scared. Missing. Ooh, some buccaneers at the bottom. Should I kill the pirates that are covering in fear? Maybe not. Okay, a lot of people dead. What is that? This uh, harpsichord is finely crafted, detailed and lavish, but the keys are well worn. Rig a bomb to the haps... Har what? No, 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 harpsichord. Inspect the instrument? No, this is crazy. Such a elaborate way to kill someone. Just throwing that harpsichord sure. in the process. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. It's shown on the same map. Oh, it's actually connected. My fingers be fat and furry. Easy breezy. Do we need to go up to command? I think that's the only that's the only place we didn't check out yet. Now what have we got here? I do believe I'll recognize these god's damn chest. He kneels by the chest, running his paws across it. By Andre's salty bosom. Romaro hold this chest from one end of the dead fire to the other. Okay. Any clues in there? He flips open the lid. To reveal an empty chest, Seraphin doesn't seem disappointed, however. He reaches into the chest and gropes about before being rewarded by a clicking sound. A false bottom slides out from the chest, containing a single folded piece of parchment. Seraphin swipes it out and holds it to his nose, inhaling deeply. What does it say? Seraphin unfolds the letter, his large yellow eyes Flowing over it, he clears his throat and begins to read. Dear X, <laughs> that be me. I knew you'd seek me out. Please abandon the trail here. I fashioned this predicament for my own, and I not have you lock its weight round your own ankles. If you find yourself imperiled, seek Udina at Magic Water. She can help. Seraphim falls silence. Starring at the page for a while longer, you hear his breath catch and he looks up, his expression carefully blank. Seems like there was more in that letter. Aye, there'd be a word or two more, but uh, nothing useful to us. He folds the letter over. Take the letter with sleight of hand and dexterity. Do it! 
Seraphim growls, barring his teeth and hopping deftly away from you. He shoves the ladder down the front of his birches. Riches, or whatever. Do you know who Dean is? I don't know who Dean are from Ward Mains, but Magic Waters, I know like my own fucking name. When I were a wee lad, fresh on the sorcerer, Romaro would treat me to the luminous bathhouse at Nekitaka. Oh. He grins as he gently closes Romaro's chest, hand lingering upon the polished wood. Oh, the water there shimmered like dawn on the open sea, and I, <laughs> full flush with the poetic creativity of youth, called it magic waters. I know you don't owe me the favor, Captain, but if we could find our way to that bathhouse, I'd not hold it against you. The lesson, of course, uh, you asked. I wouldn't turn down the dip in the baths, but everything else you said is just awful. That bath is ridiculously overpriced. I'm not against some um, time off. Like swimming in the ocean. How about that? A lot better. Uh, for now, though, we've got plunder and pillage before us, I. I, or not I, pirate bad, right? I don't be supposing swapped in sparkling. Yeah, it was not empty. What not truly. Hmm. Oh, that's actually very interesting. Free to all defenses when engaged. Stacks five times. Plus two Diplo. Uh, that's a good ring. First of all, Diplo is useful, I suppose. But defenses while engaged? Uh, that's gonna be really good for Adair or any tank. Can we just... Grand Sloan Wolf? Well, oh, Resolve is okay, but I think this ring is just amazing for a tank. Well, this will impress him later. Leave it to me. So, well, I know that he's not the one who's dying usually, but that ring is just way too good for him. We need to go up to the kitchen? No, to command. That's, what, that's where we are heading. But... Uh, this is it for now. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.